Hello, in this video we will understand about the Japanese encephalitis virus. For short is the JEV. So here is the different countries in the green color is Japanese encephalitis risk area, JEV. And this is Australia, uh, India, China, Russia, Japan and uh, other Pakistan. A lot of countries uh, uh, containing the risk area while the gray color is showing that is the unknown and Japanese encephalitis risk. So you can stop the video to watch these countries. But anyhow, let's begin to understand the JEV in, uh, information. So the JEV virus cause of encephalitis, the family Flaviviridae, the RNA virus positive strand, the positive strand containing virus, the RNA. It is RNA virus, remember. Because the family Flaviviridae is basically is the RNA containing um, virus. So the virus is the non-living in outer environment while the into the organism as a host is the uh, living activity. Encephalitis is the inf inflammation of the acute swelling of the brain tissue of the brain caused by infection. So infection are an autoimmune response autoimmune response will lead to can cause the inflammation but in this video we are understanding about the jev infection it is endemic to many part of the asia the threat to become a global pathogen the pandemic can be first isolated in japan in 1935 but had been described there as early as 1870. JEV evolved from ancestral flavi virus uh, from uh, into its present forms in the uh, Indonesia and the Malaysia region. Mm, Indonesia and Malaysia. Let's understand about the pathophysiological act and how it can transmit. So remember the vector is required for the infection to the human body like uh, uh, Culex mosquitoes is a vector. So how it's transmit? Let's begin to understand. This is a zoonotic, the zoontic virus and it requires a multiple host. This is the water birds, the amplifying reservoir host which that after the biting through mosquito will transmit this infection again it can transmit uh, into the uh, uh, mosquito and mosquito when bite with a pig to the pig will amplifying host it is but the horse is not amplifying and it will dead end host while anyhow this uh, Culex mosquitoes vector will be bite to the human with containing infected the uh, viral containing uh, 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 mosquito which that is basically as vector will enter into the blood circulatory system during the biting after the biting it will be entered into the brain if the antibodies will not prepare more it will not immune system more active the a weak immune system will lead to allow the infection into the brain otherwise not the tissue or macrophage when engulf the bacteria will lead to for example the tissue infection will lead to produce cytokines and inflammatory mediators to recruit through msc class 2 molecules to the cd4 t lymphocyte we recognize the antigen, go into the lymphatic system and the naive B cell lead to recognize, uh, recognize the antigen through uh, antigen representation through CD4 and uh, healthy helper cell to proliferate into the plasma cell and B memory cell. It is very important for the clearance of the pathogenicity. So in this way the virus which that IgM antibody is a specific antibody will produce against this virus and will clear opsonization lead to complement system activation and in this way the complement activation system as well as the macrophage activation will lead to clear the early pathogenic activity. 
the incubation period is after 5 to 15 days so it means the 5 to 15 days is the incubated period let's draw a uh, here is the brain blood barrier the blood brain barrier is the blood vessel and this is the cerebrospinal fluid so this is the neuron and this is the uh, tight junction which that will not allow to virus invasion into the cerebrospinal fluid but remember this is the basement membrane and this is the pericyte pericyte is a sportive part of the brain uh, lead to blood uh, circulatory system and this is the astrocyte the star like shape of the neuron and the ab uh, albuminal membrane also protect uh, due to the negative charge not allowed to the pos uh, not allowed to the negative charge containing things uh, entry so anyhow whenever the um, uh, 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 endothelium will invasion through a receptor the specific re receptor we will not discuss will lead to invade into the endothelium lead to produce cytokines like M MCP1, TNA, TN alpha, uh, TNF alpha as well as interleukin 6. And in this way cytokines will lead to inflammation increase and the endothelial dysfunction will lead to tight junction um, uh, dysfunction to invasion of the uh, virus into the cerebrospinal fluid and WBC will also infiltration and nitric oxide also which that is antipathogenic so remember this neurotropic a uh, viral infection will lead to replication and death of the neuron in this way the uh, naive b cell whenever the immune system were not strong if the in immune system weak not produces antibody so it will progress will lead to more pathogenic activity will cause the severe case of the JEV infection and it will lead to cause the death 30 to 8, 30 to 20 to 30 percent fatality rate for the severe case but the uh, but the uh, 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 immune system can clear this easily the clinical ma uh, clinical manifestation is the manifestation of the disease and depends on which part of the nervous system is affected and include the early symptoms such as such as uh, uh, diarrhea diarrhea is due to not uh, absorption of the sodium as well as the water retention so that is why the decrease of the sodium uh, hyponatremia will occur into the, into the blood lead to cause many problems like kidney disease and rigor uh, on the other hand the reduced consciousness seizure headache photophobia photophobia means the fear of flight vomiting abdominal uh, abdominal uh, uh, sorry abnormal mental condition and poliomyelitis like flaxseed paralysis Parkinsonism, coma, and change in respiratory pattern, while the generalized hypertonia and the cogwheel rigidity, abnormal movement, also occur due to the encephalitis. Let's understand about the treatment. Treatment is the uh, interferon therapy is uh, not more common, but the uh, naturally occurring compound arct. Uh, Janin and phenyl propanoid dibenzyl butyrolactone, uh, lignin, uh, lignin, and uh, rosemaric, rosemarinic acid also used for it, and hydration as well as the fluid transfusion through intravenously and the mosquito hygiene. While the prevention is avoid from mosquito bites and vector control. And diagnosis is the blood test or urine test for identification of the serology and MRI image of the brain for identification of encephalitis because the encephalitis causes many causes, other causes, uh, not only viral. So the identification of virus, IgM test, 
immunoglobulin test and brain test so this is the basically the japanese encephalitis virus jev we have discussed in this video the jev infection the pathophysiology clinical manifestation treatment prevention and diagnosis i hope you make sense about that if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and share and also give the comment below for understanding better so remember this this can be our next pandemic thanks for watching see you in the next video bye